But, you know, today is the uh, one-year anniversary of the death of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. But uh, Brian Terry was more uh, than just a uh, Border Patrol agent. He was a son. He was a brother. He was a friend. And very pleased to have with us on the program tonight uh, to talk about her friend, Lana Domino. Lana, thanks again for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me, Cam. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, I wish it were, uh, you know, a, uh, under better circumstances. I know the family released a statement uh, earlier today in, in which they once again were pleading with the Obama administration to to give them some answers uh, in the uh, in, in the death of their son and brother. Have you had a chance to talk with any of the uh, family today? I have not had a chance to uh, talk to them. I know that um, there was uh, some type of honorary thing that was uh, done at the Capitol for him today. So um, that's pretty much the family was honoring him today. They'll be honoring him tomorrow. Um, so I really haven't had much of an opportunity to speak with them. How are you doing today? I mean, I know this has got to be tough for, for everybody who uh, who knew Brian. No, it, it is tough. It, it is tough because it's like, it's like reliving it. it. There's When you know somebody who's such an incredible person who gives his all, whether he's your friend, uh, whether it's at work, whether he gave his all for his country, and that disappears from your life, and he's that go-to person, he's that, that person who inspires others. Mm-hmm. Um, he had an infectious smile. His personality um, he was very motivating and inspiring. You, you couldn't break him mentally. He had a zest for life. Um, he's just a very motivating person. Uh, he had a charisma about him that was gravitating to people. Um, you don't meet too many people like him. I mean, you don't. He was very unique. He was very different um, with everything he did. I mean, he gave it his all. There was nothing that was impossible. And for those that thought, you know, I can't do it, I can't do it, he'd tell you, yes, you can. You know, you, you, you can. I'll help you. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be right next to you. Yes, you can. Yeah. He was just that type of person. So there's a whole, there's definitely there's definitely a void in my life that's not going to be uh filled no one can fill his shoes and i think um christmas is extremely difficult for his family um you know eric holder's going to be sitting with his kids opening gifts i don't think mr holder's going to have any uh emotional um distress uh any tears shed at his christmas he's going to have all his family members there so when he says he's outraged i don't see outrage he doesn't feel the pain that they're going to feel for years. He's, he's never coming back. He's never going to walk through that door. Mm-hmm. You know, that mom's never going to get a bear hug from her son. That's never going to be there. There's no one that's ever going to replace him. So a year later, no answers, nobody fired, no prosecutions. And you're saying that you're going to do all to get the Terry family justice for Brian? It's like a slap in their face. It's like a slap in all his friends' faces. You know, the next today's difficult. It's not even tomorrow yet, and today's difficult. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, and, and again, if you felt like the uh, the the folks in charge um, were on your side and were on the family side, but again, I mean, what we what we see is time and again. Um, this administration has sought to to block information about. Uh, Brian Terry's death from from being made public. The uh, the the case is under seal right now. Uh, the family was denied victim status uh, in the uh, case. I mean, there there's there's been I think a, a a number of things that have gone on over the past year that have indicated or have demonstrated a a complete lack of of sympathy and empathy for for what Brian's family and friends are going through. Oh, definitely. Um... I can't believe that he has the audacity um, to reference that he is going to get justice for the, the Terry family. Um, how do you say that to somebody when you, you know exactly what you're doing and you're stonewalling and you're covering up? And you say that at a hearing where it was specifically pointed out that 5,000 documents were delivered of emails and not one yours. Can you make it any more obvious what you're doing? Yeah. And then and you're going to turn around and you're going to say that, I spoke with the Terry family, and, you know, I, I'm going to get justice for the Terry family and Brian Terry. It's like another slap. Don't you think they've been slapped enough? Where, where is, how does he wake up in the morning is what I want to know. And look at himself in the mirror and live with himself. Dennis Burke broke down. 
Dennis Burke, you know, not that he's one of my favorite people. Right. Um, ATF agents, they didn't have to come forward, Cam. Something inside of them, they're human. Mm-hmm. They have morals, they have ethics, they have compassion to do the right thing. So you, even the people that have done wrong, Dennis Burke's included in that, have come to terms with it's time to do what's right. I've done enough wrong. I shouldn't have did what I did, and now it's time to do what's right. Eric Holder doesn't think like that. His brain doesn't process that way. How do you? How can you say that you don't feel at this particular time, based off of the information that I have, that Lanny Brewer should not be fired? When it's already openly been admitted that he knew, he said, well, I should have shared, so I'm sorry that I didn't share. We're not talking about, you know, you didn't share licorice at lunchtime. Right. We're talking about somebody who served their country as a Marine, a police officer, Border Patrol agent. He's somebody's son, brother, cousin, uncle, friend. He's gone forever. This, is, this isn't like you didn't share your Doritos. I mean, the way they talk about it is like, it's just, it's like more slaps. There's no regard. There's, there's no compassion whatsoever. Eric, Eric Holder, you get whites, Ron whites right behind him laughing during the hearing. And you say you're outraged. Yeah. It's despicable. And, and this represents our government. He's the head of the DOJ. But I'll bet you if it was, you know, his sister or his brother, or his, if he had a son, and this was his son, well, you better believe people would have already been fired, indictments would have already been served. But because it's not, it's okay in his mind. And then, you know, lying? Well, it depends on what frame of mind you're in. What frame of mind do you think the Terry family's in? Mm. Absolutely right. Hey, Lana, before we run out of time, um, I want to just ask, I mean, you know, you, you obviously knew Brian pretty well what what do you want people to know about him uh the 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 you know those of us who never got a chance to meet brian terry you talked about his personality and his character um is it hard to sum up you know what what brian was all about brian was all about living life to the fullest he saw the half the glass was always half full so let's say i were to pick up the phone and i were to call him and say you know i'm having a bad day no matter what it was, it could have been a car accident, could it be I, I lost my account business-wise, what am I going to do? It didn't matter. He would find a silver lining in whatever situation you would give him. He, and you would hang up, he would call you back an hour later. Mm-hmm. You know, like, okay, tell you jokes, try to get to the laugh. He was a very upbeat person who just had a zest for life, and he wanted everybody to see life as this is a gift. This is a gift. We're all here. Make the best of it. Why make it miserable? Make it happy. And he loved his country as much as he loved his family and friends. And, and I can't stress that enough um, for the people that never had an opportunity uh, to meet him. Um, the love he had for people, the love he had for country. I- I'm going to miss his laugh. I'm going to miss his smile. I'm going to I'm going to miss his infectious personality to motivate and inspire others. And those are the memories that you know I'll carry in my heart forever. But he made such a mark in the world. Uh, and such an amazing impression on, on those that got the opportunity to know and love him. Um, that some of the people that we get that you know email or they write or they go on social media, um, they're touched by his story. Uh, but the people that actually listen to your radio show or you know went to the fundraiser, they got an opportunity to see that he was more than just a border patrol agent that got shot and killed. He was really an incredible human being that who had a charisma about him when he entered a room. People gravitated towards him. He was just that type of person, and he would give you the shirt off his back. He'd give you the last dollar out of his pocket. He was just that type of person, and he didn't discriminate. He was, he was so unconditionally loved everybody. I mean, he had friends of all races, all religions, um, and he was eager to learn about people's different beliefs. Very open-minded person, just the most giving, open-hearted person you could meet as a friend. Mm-hmm. Just an incredible human being who, who touched me in a way and made a mark that will never be forgotten. Lana, I can't thank you enough for coming on the program and uh, sharing uh, some of Brian's stories with us. Thank you again, and uh, I know we'll be talking again very soon. Yeah, we are still selling T-shirts if they want to buy T-shirts to honor his memory. Yeah. At www.rememberbrianterry.com, and all those proceeds will be going to his mother, Josephine, to attend all the hearings related to his death. 
All right. Hey, Lana, thank you again, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you, Cam. Thanks for keeping it alive in the media, and thank you for honoring him today. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely. Lana Domino, uh, a friend of Brian Terry, uh, joining us on the program tonight.